It's a mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Hey, not everything that glitter is gold. Not everything that's white is snow. On the mindset, I just don't let them know. Let them know. Let them know. Oh, words from the wise. I just star, we will never lie. Stand tall, we will never die. We'll forever shine. I just star, shine like the star in the sky. Some hate, some love. Greetings in the divine name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Il Selassie I, Empress Men in the First. I want to greet you, I, them, Zane, in those beautiful and divine names. One more day above ground, I will give him thanks and praise for our ultimate position, which is life. All right? Yeah, man, so give thanks again, beautiful viewers and subscribers. I don't know, it's always great for you have the item on the platform here. And um, due to our going in the earth, you know, you know, we have to, you know, rise up some of these 
information because there's a lot of saying who created evil Zane and people today always say boy God not have nothing to do with evil Zane so today we are going to look upon a scripture from the biblical Zane and we are going to see what really from, from, from that perspective, Zane, how evil come about, or who created evil. Now, God is the prominent figure within the Bible. God is the Godhead, the creator. That is how God is seen in the Bible. All right, so who created evil? Zane, God or man? Because as I say, a lot of a lot of evil things in a in a earth in a earth today, and when you check it out, most side most side people blame the devil. For the evil where I take place in a in a earth, for the wickedness, for the destruction, we are going in a earth. People say are the devil, and it's evil. Zane. And when all of them destruction, destruction and thing take place. Man run go and ask for forgiveness from God. Zin, yeah man. Not for the people them today them run and go and ask for forgiveness from God when them do them evil deeds. So enough people don't really believe in a God still, you know. But a man of right is God in flesh. Not true. That not the reality. Man of right is God in flesh. Because is the characteristic of, of Christ. The Christ-like characteristic is going to um, is going to project the God in a man. That righteous sin. The Christ-like So, man of right is God in flesh. And we see in our Exodus, we see in our Exodus, even though it's not Exodus we are looking upon, we are looking upon, um, what we are looking upon? We are looking upon Isaiah 45. That is what we're really looking at. That is um, the scripture that we're going to look into. And we're not going to take a long time neither. You understand? But um, in Exodus 15, Moses crossed the Red Sea. Then, after them crossed the Red Sea, defeated Pharaoh and, 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 and them adversaries. Them sing a song, Zain saying, God is a man of war. But as we know, man of right is God in flesh. Zain. But them sing that song that God is a man of war in Exodus 15 when them cross over. Yeah? So from early out there, sir, them are sure say God is a warlord. Whether you want to believe it or not. You see? God is a warlord. He ain't no skin up thing with no one. He's not partial. You see it? Based on how the biblical portray God to be. 
Zane. So I'm going to look for Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. Zane. And I'm going to see where I go on. I feel like um, I should have. All right, we're not going to able to really bring it up on the screen because the word them fine. <laughs> you see So, thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, who, whose right hand I have holden to sub, subdue nation before him, and I will, I will lose. I will lose the lines of kings to open before him the two leave gate, the two leave gates, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make crooked place straight. I will break in pieces the gate of brass and cut and cut in sunder the and cut in sunder the brass of iron. I will, and I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, I am the God of Israel. For Jacob, my servant, Seek an Israel, an Israel, my elect. I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, and thee, and there is none other, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I greeted thee true thou as not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is and there is none else beside me. I from the light and great darkness, I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. On the ear, on the, on the, on the ear, we go on this a while ago. We go on this a while ago. What the Lord said, him do. The Lord said, I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Isaiah 50, 45. Zane from 7 to 6. But we did start from the beginning. The Bible says, The Lord, Zane, now who is the Lord? That is another serious question. Who is the Lord? <laughs> oh, the Almighty God. Oh, that is a question for the item. You know. And you can drop that in the comment section. Who is the Lord? Is it the Almighty God? <laughs> See? It? So, what do things say down here? So, again, make we, make we, make we go over. Um, the final piece or so. Zin. Where it say, I have surnamed thee, true thou hast not known me. I, 
am the Lord. And there is none, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. There is no God. There is no God beside me. See it? See what that means? There is no God beside me. The Lord is saying there is no God beside him. What that really mean? There is no God beside him. So is the Lord the God, Ed? Ailey Selassie I the first? What do I them say? So I could continue reading. I greet thee to thou as not known me. That they, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord and there is none else. None else. No more in a left. Him alone. Only one. I from the light. And create darkness. I make peace. And create. And create. And create. My make you know. See it? God said, I create darkness. I make peace. And create evil. Now, a whole of people would connect darkness and evil together. Because that is how them project things over this passage of time. But him create darkness, him create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So all of the people them know where I said why God not deal with evil in the Bible. God, they say, I tell us, him create all these things. Because the devil is the next one to, you know, in all of this, you know. The devil is the next one in all of this. Because the devil is connected with evil. Evil is connected to the devil. See? And all you have to do, if you remove the D from 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 um from devil. You get evil. Eh? You remove the E. You remove the D from, from, from devil. And you get evil. You get liver. You get liver as well. <laughs> yeah. You can get liver as well. Life. You know what I mean? Live life. But the devil and evil, as I say, is connected. See? And the devil now is a man where is a man. Because as I said earlier, man of right is God in flesh. And men of wrong is the devil in flesh. And that is the reality. Zin? That is the reality. So, I could just drag up something. I could just lift up something from the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. God as a warlord. 
God is a bold and sovereign warrior lord. The God we worship and adore is a God of war as well as a God of peace. See? Yeah, man. Marcus Gavi. That Marcus Gavi, I say. He does not allow any, anything to interfere with his power and authority. The greatest battle ever fought was not between the Kaisers of Germany and the one and 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 the one and and the Allied power and the other. It was between the Almighty God and the one and and Lucifer, the Archangel, and the other. Seen? Now, is a reason why I brought up, I bring up this thing, you know. This thing uh, is for everything what we see uh, take place today. We not finish read. Everything what we see uh, unfold between our eyes, wars, rumors of wars, and everyone is, you know, f fighting to kill themselves. See? And a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, what am I say? Oh, no war, peace. Some people are say peace, no war. Some people are say war, no peace. Zin. And I'm going to ask, where is God in the midst of all these things? That's that what I'm going to ask, you know, where God there? And it must be the devil or it couldn't be God that, you know, couldn't be God uh, back someone who uh, dropped shells on another nation will have life. But anyway, we're going to continue reading, Marcus. Philosophy and opinion. The greatest battle ever fight. All right. When Lucifer challenged God's power in heaven and, and marshaled his force on the plain of paradise, the God we worship and adore also marshaled his forces, his archangel, his cherubims, his sheriffins, and in battle, a rear, he, he placed himself before them with the royal standard of Zion. He forced the opposing general, Lucifer, with his orders and, battle, and the battle plane of Zion, and there the great war began. The whole universe shook as the battle raged between the two opposing forces and as God the, and as God the creator gained the upper hand of Lucifer, what did he do? Did he hoist the white, the white flag of peace? Did him say, yo, watch out. You know, I get you, you know, I have you, you know, so everything good. You never do that. You never do that. You never say peace, and you know what I mean? You never do that. No, the Almighty God, the, omnis the omnipotent, took all of took hold of Lucifer and flung him from the heights of Zion to the depths of hell, thereby proving that he is a god of war as well as a god of peace. And when anyone transgresses his power, he goes 
to war in defense of his rights. Man is only a little lower than the angel, and the angels are only a little lower than the creator. But the creator has banquet to all angels and to man the same principle, the same policy that govern him as God. And even as he goes to war in defense of his rights, so man go to war in defense of his rights. I believe with Napoleon when someone asks him, on what side is God? He replied, God is on the side of the strong, the strongest battalion. Napoleon was right. He had a true concept of God. God is really on the side of the strongest people because God made all men equal. And he never gave superior power to any class of group of people over another. And in no one, and in, let's repeat this, and anyone who can get the advantage over another is pleasing God because that is the servant who has taken care of God command in exercising authority over the world. Let me repeat all of this again. You know. I feel like I have to. Zin, I believe with Napoleon, when someone asks him, on what side is God? He replied, God is on the side of the strongest battalion. Napoleon was right. He had a true concept of God. God is really on the side of the strongest people because God made all men equal and he never gave superior power to anyone, class or group of people over another and, and anyone who can get the advantage over another is pleasing God because that is the servant who has taken care of God's command in exercising authority over the world. And that is from the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Mosiah Garvey. God is on the side of the strongest battalion. God is the strongest battalion. God army are the strongest army. So what Marcus has said, or what Napoleon did say, him they on the side of the strongest, whoever, whoever turned out triumphant and victorious, God did depend for them side. Couldn't be the devil. Sin couldn't be the devil. So really and truly, who created evil? As you look on Isaiah, Isaiah shows you say, in the Bible, a God create evil. God say, the Lord say, him create all those things. Him create all of them. Not me say it, or him say it. Isaiah 45, go and look it up from verse 6 to 7. Zin? Yeah, man. So, throughout the war and crime and all these things that we see are going, I could just close with this now. Words from His Imperial Majesty. Emperor Eel Selassie the first. Peace is the foundation for development. The flower of peace is not sustained by poverty and want. Peace is a day-to-day -day problem. 
the product of a multitude of event and judgment. Peace is not an is, it is a becoming. Unless the desire of the desire for peace for peace is expressed in terms of concrete concrete achievement. And though, and though gives a sense of assurance and serenity to humanity, mere poor's hope constitute only self-delusion. The essential, the, the, the essential, the, the essential prerequisite prerequisite for economics and social contentment is world peace and without such contentment the weed of discontentment luxuriates the threat of peace develop the great nation of the world would do well to remember that in the modern age even their own feet are not wholly in their hands. Peace demand un a united effort of us all. Where there is no lack of goodwill, all international dispute can be resolved. All nation, whatever their political persuasion can live together in peace. Peaceful existence is not merely the absence of war. The world itself is an empty battle. It is for us to give it content and meaning. Peace has become even more necessary to mankind than ever before. The alternative confronting the government of today are no longer peace or war, but peace are the annihilation and complete doom of mankind. And all right, that's a, right, that's how we are gonna leave it. Zin. Peace or war, but peace or the annihilation of the annihilation and complete doom of mankind. That is what His Majesty Emperor Eel Selassie the first said. You understand? So God said, Him create peace, darkness. And evil. Zin? Yeah. That God said. So if anybody have any problem where evil come from, just ask God. Until we die again, I want to say manners and respect. Mindset program, I just star. I'm your host, Holy Manuel I, King Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari. Peace and love. Subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just saw the mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just saw the mindset.